before we proceed to the procedure of the laboratory, so let's have a look on the specification of this apparatus. As what you can see here, we have a beam. On this side, it is in overhanging. Meanwhile, at this side, it is supported by two support. The first one and the second one. The total length of this beam is about 580. For the overhanging, it is about 140 mm. In between two support, it is about 440 mm. As what you can see at this section, this is the cut section. From the first support to the cut section, it is equivalent to 300. Therefore, the remaining length it is about 140 mm. Now, let's move on to the laboratory procedure. As what you can see in your e-laboratory lab instruction, so you will be provided by your lecturer for this diagram. For this exercise, we will try to use this diagram. As what you can see from the diagram, it shows two main parameters. The first parameter is the mass. Meanwhile, for the second parameter is the position for respective mass. In our laboratory procedure, this is the mass that we are going to use. For this one piece of this mass, it is equally to 10 gram. The mass for the hanger, it is also equivalent to 10 gram. In your lab instruction, you need to provide three load cases. However, for this exercise, we only show you only one load case. For each load case, you need to choose your own mass and also the position for respective mass. Okay, now we would like to try for this exercise. As what you can see from this diagram, we have three hanger, W1, W2, and W3. For this test, I would like to use for each hanger equivalent to 100 gram. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, including with the hanger. So now, for each of these equivalent to 100 gram. For the position, you need to put your position for W1 between the tips of the overhanging beam to the first support. Meanwhile, for W2 and W3, you need to put between two support. So, you need to decide where should be the exact position for W1, W2, and W3. Okay. For the position of the mass, what you can see, I've already chose the position for W1, W2, and W3. Once you would like to use the apparatus, you need to switch on the switch for the digital force display. Then later, you will see this indicator. Then what should you do? You need to make sure that the system it is in messiness. How? By turning this button to make sure the value of the forces will become zero. So now, I will start to hang the mass. So for the first mass, W1. As what you can see when I hang the first mass, so this is the reading for the internal forces that has been 
recorded at the cutting section here. Then I would like to hang for the second mess. As what you can see, the reading now change. Then now I will try to hang the third mess. There you are. So finally, you will see for those three masses and also the internal forces that has been indicated at the cutting section here is about for Newton. You need to record the value from the apparatus and then you need to verify this value using the scalar equilibrium equation in order to make sure that the theoretical analysis and the result from the laboratory it is equal. We just finished for the first exercise for the first loop case. What should you do? You need to proceed with the second loop case and third loop case by different masses and also position. For the rest question, please refer to your lab instruction. Now we move on to the bending moment practice.